where did you leave things? Alan wants me to think about it. What's there to think about? The cost. For one, the commitment. Once you start taking the pills, you mess up once, you mess up everything. Robin, this is me. You're going to have to do better than that. As long as I'm alive, money's not going to be an issue for you. Now, as far as commitment goes, you wrote the book. Are you afraid? Oh. Huh? Come on. Maybe. There is that part of me that says, I fully buy into this hope, and it doesn't work for whatever reason. I gotta admit, my first reaction was, what do I find? Trust your instincts. They're the best I've ever seen. I love you so much. I love you, pal. You got guts. And I'm proud of you. After everything you've been through, after Stone, you're going to go out there and pursue your dreams and go for your goals. And you found a, a love. You have figured out how to absorb the pain from the past and just take it, whatever, and still stay whole. Great accomplishment. You could do that too, Sonny. And you could do it without dishonoring Lily. You could let go of that pain. I'm not going to be here to look after you. I need to hear you promise me. Just promise me at least try. Wow. I've well, always been a sucker for you. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. Instead of a quarter main first thing, I get my two favorite people. Mm, what a coincidence. These happen to be my two favorite people. But you're not going to believe this. No, but not your two favorite people, too. Wait a minute, you guys, you guys know each other? Um. <laughs> so what's up? You guys avoiding the party? No, we're just, um, I just wanted to tell them they the person. It's pretty incredible, huh? The best. You're right, though. We should go back in. Captain really works out of it. Oh, you guys all sat over there? Good. Okay. Well, ready. Hoo-ha! Hey, just in time. Um, I would like to propose a toast. Is everyone set? All set? Okay. Got it? Bula Bula. <laughs> Uh, I think something just flew right by me. Oh, whiz. It's the Yale fight phone. They just keep saying bula bula over and over again. Wow. Well, I'm not going to college. No offense. Hey, I don't know. Bula bula, you know, set to a rap beat. You might be like the next best thing. Hey, yeah. Where are the L and B ladies when you need them? <laughs> Never see her right here. Hi, uh, Oh, Yeah, this is Theo. Thank you. Hi, Sonny. Hi. Perfect timing. Sonny Carinto's the next rap artist. Uh, I didn't mean me. I don't know. I kind of love that idea. What do you think? I think we can do something with him. Huh. How are you at scratching? <laughs> <laughs> Only when I itch. 
I'm so happy to hear good news. You don't understand. This is so amazing. It could change everything. It's possible. No, it's not possible. It is happening. Okay, at the very least, it's a step. Because if this treatment isn't secure, then it's going to be the one after that or the one after that. I mean, we are closing in on this thing, and I know that it's going to happen soon enough where it matters to you. Oh, hey. I totally understand what's going on. I know that you want to be a little detached and, and cautious. And you know what? You're right. So, I am going to vote myself in as a resident positive thinker and cheerleader that this is going to be the treatment that is going to knock this virus out once and for all. I'm going to be optimistic enough. Trouble. What am I going to do without you? I'll never ask. Hey. Hey, look, it's my husband. Well, I wasn't my... sure what you guys liked, so I thought I'd just bring everything. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, oh. the chocolate cake. Oh, oh, it's going to be so hard not running into Robin at every turn. Well. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Sorry, we missed so much of the party. It's okay. I know how much you guys love me. You got that right, sweetie. <laughs> Hi, Sonny. Hi, Jason. How's it going, Luke? It goes. Excuse me. There might be a problem brewing outside. What, another cast and I? Step up. What? He says he's looking for you. We can't keep it from her now. Please. Whatever it is, just tell me, please. Actually, uh, Jason and I had... Oh, we had a plan. You know, it was kind of more Jason's idea. But I was supposed to follow it through. There was this um, incredible gift that he wanted to get for you when he was in the hospital. He told me about it, and um, he asked me if I could look in the stores, and I did, but I, I couldn't find what he was looking for. So I just I just came here to tell him that, and of course, you know, to wish you good luck at college and, and tell you goodbye. Thank you. Sorry, pal. I gave it my best shot. I didn't know you guys knew each other that well. I guess it's having I mean, sort of a patient. Robin. I want to tell you what it was really about. Look, whatever it is, you don't have to tell me. I barged in on your conversation and I shouldn't have. No, I'm that's sorry. Not that's not it. You see. When I saw you guys talking, I. I thought Max told her to come over here and tell you to break it to me. I know it's kind of stupid, but that's what I thought. I really need to tell you this. Look, we have all night, okay? Right now, I really just need to go and talk to everybody. If you want to go with me, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine, too. Everything is fine, okay? Don't look so sad. Really. Well, that has to be some emergency to keep Max from being with Robin. Yes, it is. Ah, oh, where do the years go? I remember an impish little Robin coming into poor Charles about age six. Now their face is the same, but boy, have things changed. 
You know, I've never raised a child, but I imagine the hardest part is uh, letting them go. Well, the thing is, you never can. Oh, Laura, hi. Hi. How are things? Uh, not so good. We're in a holding pattern. I'm okay. Hi. Oh. I'm going to miss you so much. Same here. You know what? I think Robert's uh, hoisting a cold one right now with his heavenly drinking buddies. I'm sure he's proud of you. Good luck. Take care. I'll miss you too. Tomorrow's it, huh? Yeah. Jason. Christmas before Thanksgiving.